What's up guys, this video is part 2 in the series of me explaining about Scale Insight, a tool that helped me to automate my PPC, which is a little different than other tools that work with AI. This uh, tool work is based on, uh, it's like rule based, so you define your own rules, your own philosophy and the way that you already do things, instead of doing them manually, you're gonna automate them and let the uh, uh, automation work for you the same exact way that you do it manually so this is a game changer in my business and if you didn't see part one watch it first so you have an idea I didn't really want to make part one like a two hours video so I'm splitting it up into parts maybe we'll have part three in the future for now part two we'll cover things that I didn't cover in part one hello guys and welcome back to another video and if it's your first time here my name is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com and I share on this channel everything about Amazon FBA, Walmart and other marketplaces to achieve freedom in your life and work from anywhere in the world. You can literally do it from your computer like I do from my home and really achieve a financial freedom. Of course, it depends on how much effort uh, you put. I'm not those type of channels that are going to promise easy wins or easy uh, success success is not free you have to work for it every day anyway uh, if it's something that you're interested to learn more about then do me a favor like this video so more people can enjoy it comment with any suggestions questions or anything that comes to your mind and subscribe to the channel of course and all links that I'm going to mention in this video and some other links that we uh, you know uh, recommend will be in the description section for you thank you very much for your support Okay, so let's continue and I'll try to recover really things that I didn't cover the last video. Some really cool features that you can see is through the ad insights and let's try to cover them. So here you have keywords with iECOS, you have keywords, this I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that I, I uh, located these, but those uh, unique word with zero sales. So this is something that you can do to automate this, but if you want to do it manually, you can see for, that for this product, I got 33 clicks that contained that word. So obviously if I negate it and if I, uh, you know, edit as a negative phrase throughout all the campaigns, I could literally like, I could save like $27 just for that date range. But who knows, you know what, let's do it for this year, you know, this will be much more robust than, or you know what, much more uh, insightful because you have much more data to work with. So let's check here and we see that, you know, this actually grew up to uh, uh, 50 from 33. So 50 times when people had this word in every search term or every search that they made, it never converted. So obviously it tells me that this word is not really targeted. This word doesn't really fit. So I want to really add this in a negative. Now this really helped me to do it manually. We have a tool that can do it for you automatically. And let me show it to you. So you go to automations and then you go to the negative word rule. So let's check here. The, and by the way, for every uh, section on the website, you have like a little uh, uh, tutorial, whether it's video and the text version. For myself, the text version is a little more easy to digest, easier to understand, and you can also refer back to it. So let's try to read it together. So here, it's exactly the term for that. For why use negative word algorithm? I once read that if we split every individual word in all of our search terms and aggregate their statistics, we can uncover many untargeted words that are causing us to spend unnecessarily. Example, if we sell spatula, our automatic campaigns or broad phrase keywords may trigger the following search terms. Spatula toys, spatula toys for kids, spatula turner for kids. So we see that toys, whenever they search toys with the word spatula, it never really converted. So instead of going to the insights like I showed before and do it manually, you can create a rule that will do it for you. Guys, I wanted to remind you about our Facebook group. I know that every video recently I explain about this, but it's important for me to create an amazing group, a group that will support each other so we can grow together. You can ask questions on things that really you're struggling with. 
and this is going uh it's still free but starting from next month it will cost ten dollars ten dollars that are just to show and uh, for me a way to see who is serious who is committed because when you pay so for something you actually gonna use it and take it more seriously so that's the reason why i'm going to charge money so people are gonna be more committed and we can help each other i'm going also to have all the lives that we have like twice a month going to be only for the facebook members so it's ten dollars for life not monthly and i definitely suggest that you join now while it's free and you know if you watch this video after it's not free i think you know like for a price of two cups of coffee of two starbucks it's definitely worth it for lifetime you we gotta have some templates and files and things and access to me and to other uh, great sellers so definitely use that and another thing is about our free services as you know we're not selling any course we're not really trying to uh, monetize this channel trying to provide the content itself free um, but if you can support ourselves with our free services and use uh, or at, le at least give us a chance get a quote uh, for your uh, shipment from China probably to Europe or to Amazon USA um, I'll definitely be glad to assist you the difference between us to other free services is that uh, we, we I'm, I'm a seller so I know exactly what you guys are going through as a you know I'm a seven figure seller I shipped hundreds of shipments if not thousands already um, and I have a ton of experience with that and I want to really provide the best service and prices for you guys so let me know uh, by clicking there will be a link in the description or email me tomer at sourcing-monster.com so let's go back to the rule and uh, let's go here to negative reward rules so here the rule says that in case for an ASIN that got 25 clicks and zero orders it will negate it now if you think that this is too aggressive you can lift it you can say that okay i will only feel comfortable it's like 40 words and above so in that event that could save you could save you ton of money because this is done automatically to do it manually will take you weeks months years really uh so this is very very powerful on the other end you have the traditional negative rule so the traditional negative rule is like that so the system takes 60 days of search terms skipping the past two days to allow time for amazon data to be updated the system aggregates the search terms for each pro uh, product the system filters bad search terms it's uh, for example high clicks with no orders as you can see here the system finds the products ad group with the signed rule and then it's added as a negative so this is a, uh i think for me i'm le i'm using those less than the negative word rule this is for me more powerful and um i, I use this better then you have the revive rule let's go to the revive rule revive rule it's basically let's read the the explanation that they wrote but why use revive algorithm there are many situations where your keyword conversions can drop significantly this can happen when your product ranking uh, rating drop you increase your selling price there are stronger competition demand changes for a certain period or just for whatever reasons uh, advertising conversions just dropped across the board if you reduce your keyword bids to adapt to reducing conversion they may stop getting traffic while this can work well to reduce unprofitable keywords you may also miss out on traffic if the situation reverse for example if your product rating improve or overall demand improves the algorithm can give your keyword another chance by raising their bids if they have no traffic after prolonged period so what i suggest is that you use this algorithm or this rule for items that you have a lot of inventory you have a lot of inventory you want to get more traffic you want to increase sales and th this will really help you with untapped opportunities so i definitely suggest that you d dig in here and read the manual and use that rule for your for your own uh, sake um import rule i pretty sure that i covered this then you have the uh the the what you call it the placement there are a couple of other rules here that i didn't even explore yet i'm only gonna cover what i explored but the placement rule so the placement rule says the following if for any placement i have 30 percent tos i want for top of search to increase my bid on 30 percent so this is done for you automatically so again things that you have to check manually and you know what another very cool feature that i saw so if you go to uh sales if i'm not sure or to add insights i'm sorry add insights and then you go to the 
performance yeah performance then you go to placement you can actually see the placement like let's say one one campaign okay so let's say filter it and it's telling me so that campaign let's go and that campaign uh, it's giving me the data right away. So if you know about this data, where you get it from, you go to the reports on Seller Central. You have to download specific report and analyze it. Here it's taking like, literally like two seconds. And you can see right away that for this product, for product pages, I'm paying 162.56. Uh, like the ACoS for these product pages, even though, yeah, which is crazy. And top of the rest of search, I'm getting like 29%. So this is much better. I wish Amazon would give us option to do minus placement. So for example, if I see that it's 162, I want to bid minus 50% for that placement, but they don't allow you to do it. And this is really annoying. Anyway, so this tool really help you with the placement and, and you know, you, how, how to really use it. Let's go to, back to automations. Change rule. So to change log, uh, this is something that I really do every day. I'm not sure if I explained in the previous video or the first video, but what I like to do always to go to today and filter. Why today you ask yourself? Because the algorithm in my case, maybe in your account, it will work differently, works in the morning. So it will get the data from the previous day or from today and will update the changes today. And why I'm going here, and so I always look here, 51 terms, so I will go do 100 so I can see all of them in one page. I like to do it. And then I scroll down to see like any sudden changes, try to make sure that the rule works well. And let's try to analyze this, for example, why it deducted 0.11 cents. So let, let's do the following, right? So um, for, date, for that date range, which is a month, I got 36 clicks and eight orders. The ACOS was 40%.27. And I have a rule that says if 10 clicks and ACOS between 37 to 50%, reduce it by 5%. So in that event, it's be falling between this range. So it did reduce it by 5%. Let's open calculator to see that it makes sense. So um, 2.13, yeah, 2.14. So that's correct. It did it by 11 cents and it worked perfectly. So even though you work with automation, you want to double check. You want to confirm that everything is okay, you know? And these rules I didn't really show before. So let's go back to the bidding rule. And let me show you some of the rules that I set here, okay? So I have four rules now. Maybe later I will, it's not maybe, I will definitely add more rules to make it even more, uh, or, or, or like a stronger system for myself. So here I have this rule that I covered. If it 10 clicks with zero conversion, reduce it by 10%, by 10 uh, cents which is not optimal because it's fixed. I need to change it to per, be percentage. Um, and uh, then I have the 10 clicks, 10 cent A cost or below increase by 10 uh, cents. And then this is a new rule for every um, a, uh, 10 clicks and A cost above 51%, I want to reduce it by the bid by 10%, okay? And the same goes for other uh, I mean, for 10 clicks and ACOS between the 37 and 50, reduce it by five because it's still good. I don't want to change the bid that dramatically. Okay, so I have these four rules that I, you know, uh, apply them to all the campaigns, whether it's sponsored products, sponsored brands, sponsored displays. So basically I can really focus on doing the job that I need to do, like conversion optimization, talking with suppliers, WeChat, uh, sourcing more products, the, the things that actually change the bottom line. And this changed the, the bottom line as well, but obviously it could be automated. So everything that could be automated, definitely, uh, you know, use it to your advantage. Um, I guess for now, that's everything for part two. I will definitely actually make a part three, but that would be in the next few weeks or months after I gain more experience, after we have more data and more information. One more thing that I forgot to mention is for if you have multiple accounts like I have, I have two seller accounts, you can change it here. So this can apply to your other seller account. And for the other, on the other end, if you sell on Europe too, the same thing. So I sell on Europe and what's cool about it is that if you sell uh, in other marketplace, it will keep the rules. Like for the UK, uh, I have the same exact rules as you can see. Uh, but if you change account, it will not save the rules. So you will have to set up them again. So I hope you're going to use it. If you're training, uh, are planning to try it, definitely use the link 
with a 30 days free trial, no credit card required because it will support the channel by you leaking and signing up by this uh, link. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay uh, until the end of the video because you will have a couple of more suggestions for more videos for you to explore. Now, please, my friends, do me a favor and share this video with other people that might benefit from this video. It will help me grow the channel and I will really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.